Welcome to this video. This is going to be on different configurations of turbocharging since uh, straight six and V6 and straight fours and V8s all have a slightly different structure to them. I'll, diff I'll make a few different uh, examples of the same system on different kinds of engines. The first thing I'll start off with is a single turbo straight engine. I'll make a straight six like a 2JZ and here we go. Okay, this is a little bit tight, but I've got uh, my turbo with my compressor right here. The air comes in and runs through the compressor. Um, it should come straight into the housing, run into the compressor, and then it would go through an intercooler. I left that out, and then it would go into your intake manifold into the engine. The engine pushes out the exhaust, and it comes out the exhaust, spins the turbine through the catalytic converter muffler, and out. Uh, this will look a little bit different on a V6. I'll draw that. This is what the plumbing might look like on a V6. Uh, you have, I didn't make a very realistic exhaust manifold to save space, but I have the exhaust coming out of our runners here, being grouped together in this pipe, and spooling the turbine. The turbine is connected to the compressor, so air comes through the filter, is compressed, and is run through the plenum of the intake. Uh, let's get into twin turbos and how they might how they might look. I'll draw a twin turbo uh, parallel setup on a straight six engine. So here's an example of using two of the same size turbos. And here's the turbine, and here's the compressor side, or the hot side and the cold side. Uh, the exhaust is pushed out of the engine, it spools the turbine, and then it goes out here and out here, where they'll be joined up by a Y pipe down the line, and, uh, and out the exhaust. And they'll spin the compressors and the air will be respectively compressed and sent into the intake manifold. Notice only three cylinders is powering each turbo. This is a parallel setup. This is an excellent setup for most uh, turbo applications. It is more simple than other twin turbo applications and it's very effective. I'll uh, draw the same setup on a V engine so you can see what that looks like. Okay, uh, this is what a V6. Okay, uh, this is what a V6 parallel turbo system would look like. Uh, in this case, again, the path at the exhaust tank is black. The exhaust contains a lot of carbon, so it makes sense. Uh, this spools each turbo separately. The exhaust is combined, sent through the catalytic converter muffler, and out the exhaust system. Uh, the spool turbos spool the compression or the cold sides, and Air filter, air filter, they combine up. There would be an intercooler in this tract as well. And it would go into the plenum and the intake of the engine. So that's what a parallel system would look like on a V engine. I'm going to make a sequential turbo on a, a V engine now and show you what that looks like. This is what a a sequential turbo system would look like. Again, exhaust is black. Uh, you have the two manifolds and they combine and you have two separate turbos off of the same, uh, off of what both manifolds feed into. This is the principal difference. So uh, you combine the exhaust and power both turbos off of the combined exhaust. This is a more complex system. You have your air filters here with your cold sides that will feed into the plenum of the intake manifold. This configuration makes for faster spooling and boost at lower RPM that kicks in at lower RPM, but it is it has complications and it's harder to get it to work correctly. Moving along, uh, I will draw the same configuration on a straight engine. So this is the setup for a sequential turbo on a straight engine. You'll notice that 
it gets all combined into one manifold and then you have two small turbos that feed off of uh, the same manifold and you have your intake that gets combined and pushed in the engine this way. Again, single turbo can be more simple and more reliable than the setup, though the setup does lower boost as compared to, or does lower the time that boost kicks in as compared to a parallel setup. Now you may be wondering why this configuration is better for bringing boost at low RPMs. At low RPMs you don't have a lot of exhaust running out of the manifold and subsequently not a lot to spool the turbos. Since the turbos aren't spooling, you'll get some lag because the boost isn't there to run the turbos. The turbos at this point would be more of a blockage of flow rather than a benefit. So since there's not very much exhaust out there to spool a turbo, you can shut off one turbo and it will allow only half the effort to get things spooled at higher RPMs. You can uh, reconnect this turbo with a valve and run both turbos. That is why uh, this configuration is faster spooling, though more complicated. Well, this video was helpful. This was a quick overview of how um, twin turbo setups go. Please subscribe and I'll catch you next time.